If you're considering an MCSE training course, then it's likely that you're in one of two situations. You could already be in IT and you want to enhance your CV with the MCSE certification, or this could be your first step into the computer workplace, and research demonstrates that there's a growing demand for certified networking professionals. During your research, you'll come across companies that reduce costs by not upgrading their courses to the latest Microsoft versions. Stay away from these. You'll only experience problems in the exams. If you're learning from an out-of-date syllabus, it makes it very difficult to pass. And watch out for training providers who are just trying to sell you anything. Understand that buying an MCSE course is like buying a car. They're not all the same. Some are reliable and will get you there in comfort, whilst others will probably break down en route. A good company will offer you the time, expertise and advice to make sure that you're using the right vehicle. One question that often comes up is why should we get commercial certification rather than traditional academic qualifications that you get through schools, colleges or universities? Well, essentially industry recognises that gaining the proper accreditation from the likes of Microsoft, CompTIA, Cisco or Adobe is far more effective and specialised, saving both time and money. Commercial certification concentrates on the actual skills that are required, together with an appropriate level of background knowledge. Rather than going into the depths of background detail that academic courses can often get bogged down in. The bottom line is, recognise IT certification provides exactly what an employer needs. It says what you do in the title. For example, the Microsoft Certified Professional Qualification in Windows XP Administration and Configuration. So, an employer just needs to identify exactly what they need and what certifications will fulfil that need. Which of course makes it much simpler for them, and that's why they prefer it. Take a good look at the certifications that you're considering. Make sure they're all current and commercially required. Don't bother with courses that lead to unknown in-house type certificates. Only the fully recognised accreditations from the major players like Microsoft, CompTIA, Adobe and Cisco are really going to mean anything to employers.